So first of all, this idea that somehow conservatism is about like local school boards, it's the United States of America, not the United School Boards or County Commissions of America. We've succeeded, and I think that people just don't want to recognize it because it challenges their narrative, it challenges their assumption. So they got to try to find a boogeyman. Maybe it's that there are black helicopters circling the Department of Health. If you believe that, um, I got a bridge in Brooklyn I'd like to sell you. Our idea is very simple. Our lawsuit says end catch and release. If they end catch and release and they reinstitute remain in Mexico and finish construction of the border wall, guess what? crisis will be ended. People will stop even coming because they know they're not going to be able to. Biden's made it clear. If you just get here, we'll put you on a bus. We'll put you on the plane. We'll send you all over the fruited plain. In Florida, we're going to do what's right. We'll stand up to corporations. They are not going to dictate the policies in this state. We will stand up to groups like the NCAA who think that they should be able to dictate the policies in different states. Not here, not ever. When you're in a situation like this, that's the equivalent of throwing a jalopy in the Daytona 500. When you deplatform the President of the United States, but you let Ayatollah Khomeini talk about killing Jews, that is wrong. Leadership, and I think the problem I have with Joe Biden more than anything, this guy doesn't take responsibility for anything. But let me tell you this, if you're coming after the rights of parents in Florida, I'm standing in your way. You ain't running over this governor. I'm punching back. We're going to protect these jobs. That's not what I said. No, 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 that's not what I said. Not that I ever expect to be quoted properly. I just disabused you of the narrative, and you don't care about the facts, because obviously I laid it out for you in a way that is irrefutable. Well, wrong, you're wrong, away. you're wrong. Yes, that's sir. Actually they cut out everything that showed that their narrative was a piece of horse manure. I knew what they were doing was a lie. Everybody here knows what they were doing is a lie. You can't tell noble lies to try to get them to behave in a way that you think you want them to behave in. Why don't you do your job? Why don't you get this border secure? And until you do that, I don't want to hear a blip about COVID from you. He wants to f have the government force kindergartners to wear masks in school. He doesn't believe the parents should have a say in that. He thinks that should be a decision for the government. Well, I can tell you in Florida, the parents are gonna be the ones in charge of that decision. One of the major uh, medical people in his administration just recently told parents that they should be wearing masks at home when they're around their own children. This is insane. Even Fauci, all these people would always say, no mandate, no mandate, and then now, they're saying you shouldn't be able to even work if you don't do that. Some people say kids shouldn't even be able to go to school. And this has gotten so, so far out of whack. So I think that Brandon, Florida is a great American city. I think the people here are fantastic. And I can tell you, My only negative on Brandon was they, when I was growing up playing baseball, they always used to beat us every year.